Lucas Media. I was gonna make a couple videos, but I guess I combined it about Julio Fulio again. A lot of people are still in shock. And even Charleston White, who came out and said something about Julio, ended up doing an interview with Say Cheese, had several things to say. You know, basically, to sum it up, nobody should be feeling sorry for him. And, you know, there's people out there who are celebrating it because of the, you know, the evil and the, the, the darkness that he brought on, you know, him and the other people that he was against, you know, and... He ended up making that song, I believe, when I see you, where you at the grave and you're dancing and talking about, you know, now be smoking 23 and it was three young black men that got killed. You end up going to Tampa, you drop the location, somebody dropped the location and now you gone, right? Well, honestly, I agree with Charleston White. People really, you really shouldn't feel sorry for these artists. Now, if you want to feel sorry for the mother, sure. You know, I even seen his mother came out and said that she tried to help him. She tried to tell him take the videos down stay away from this evil you know you don't have to do this but you know this is this is what they want you want the clout you want the clout you want everything that come with it you know you want those million of instagram subscribers but you don't really have no real money you know and this is the stuff that come with it and honestly i see the video go around or a picture go around on, online of julio fulio and you know honestly it was like he was similar to jfk and if you don't know what i'm talking about all you gotta do is go on youtube and you can see what happened to jfk so was all of that dissing worth it you gone your mother grieving people are grieving your girl grieving when you could have just said forget that i'm not gonna make these diss songs i'm gonna i'm gonna make r&b songs and, and get it for the ladies you know or i'm gonna make conscious songs for the ladies and the fellas you know what i mean but no you know you, you want to be like chicago artists and look at all these chicago artists they dead or in jail do we need to start naming names you know what I, I it is i'm about to name some names i know it's gonna piss a lot of people off but people need to hear this i mean you want to ride around and talking about oh look at the score well let, let, let's look at who get dead or in jail uh capo gone blood money little jojo la capone young pappy little bango king von fbg cash fbg duck and if you if you really want to go further we can go julio fulio who from Jacksonville because Jacksonville got their drill influence from Chicago. So, and again, these are just a small amount. And then didn't they give Quando, I mean, Quando Rondo, didn't they give Rondo number nine football numbers? Didn't they give other, all these other rappers, the drill rappers football numbers? So who really made it? I want you to name people who, who really made it like that. Yeah, and again, you can say Dirk, but look how many people Dirk then lost. So, I mean, it ain't worth it, man. You young brothers, man honestly honestly I, man you men man who out here having these babies man be there for your sons somebody should have snatched if julio if julio would have been my son i would have snatched him up honestly we would have been out there fighting every day you out here dissing the dead really you know how much evil you bringing not just on yourself but on me on your mother on your little brother didn't look then your little brother little baby pass away so you your, your brother gone young and age brother gone all these other brothers is gone and y'all still with the bs well this is what comes with it and then you got fans who you sit there and you laugh it up and ha ha ha, ha. but then when somebody die you talking about all oh, we need to stop the violence and it shouldn't have had to been like that what do y'all think gonna happen when you diss the dead i remember growing up people would they wouldn't they would stay completely away from that uh-uh no no we're not disrespecting the dead i seen a, a picture where somebody went to, went to a grave strike and destroyed it then put it online like it was cool you don't think somebody gonna try to knock your noodle off honestly and then y'all so these people these these young people they so ignorant to a degree that you dropping locations after you didn't diss somebody's dead brother father uncle nephew auntie mother whoever you don't think these people gonna these people got so much rage that they gonna find you listen man i'm gonna keep saying this you only gotta be you only gotta make one mistake when you out there against evil and the thing is evil don't never forget so yeah no 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 i agree with charleston white you really shouldn't be sorry nobody should be surprised by none of this you know all of this could have been prevented if you would have made r&b songs for the ladies or just made some some club bangers without this in the dead or you wouldn't have dropped your location or if you was going to have this kind of lifestyle not be in your city now you have people that say oh he wasn't rich he had no money like that so you dissing the dead and you broke i'm just i'm just i'm keeping it real you dissing the dead and you broke so not only doing the most eat some of the most evil things you ever can do but you ain't got no money to get away so i mean y'all just asking for the grim reaper to come y'all asking for it y'all asking for it you know but the problem is now that you you know now that he gone guess who's suffering his mother but man fellas man y'all need to man, please be there for y'all sons man because could have had all the talent in the world to be something 
something great. But the only thing he gonna be known for is, is, is dissing the dead. And here's the thing, I keep saying this, I keep saying this. Just like I said about the old block six, right? The life moves on, music changes. People forget about it. These same people that's laughing, the ones who, li who live in their mama basements, just watching this on, on Instagram and YouTube and all this other stuff, they gonna get married. They gonna have kids. They gonna have grandkids. Guess what? Them old block six, some of them will probably still be sitting in the jail, 60 years old, 70 years old, 80 years old. Fulio could have, you know, 20, 30 years from now, he's still gone. And the only thing that people was gonna remember about him is you stand and you at a graveyard singing about your dead ops being gone but don't nobody get it because it's fun and it's entertaining but man listen man i don't know please again please be there for your sons your nephews your little cousins you know what i'm saying you see them in the streets man show examples and for you young brothers who subscribe man stay out of it man the streets listen think about it do you want to be remembered for that it's it's better it's cool better off being a square dude honestly it's cool being a square i don't be i'll be in i'll be in the crib and if i did have enemies out there and they passed away i wouldn't even speak about it no more you know this is what happens this is what happens this is what happens when you know the parents don't get along and a father not in the home and you know so on and so forth so you know another one and guess what it's gonna be another one that's gonna shock people before you know it but i just want to get my quick thoughts about it tell me what y'all think